what is up everyone this will be my graves a jungle video and i'm gonna go over everything need to know on how to play a graves a jungle so graves is very broken right now one of the best junglers in the game and a big reason for that is actually his itemization yes his build ghost blade into collector is so cost efficient and so strong i'm surprised they haven't nerfed collect or ghost blade but they're actually buffing in expatch so this champion and build will be even stronger graves jungle very good with dark harvest and attack speed precision second tree clear wise you can either go for like a level two g's or play you know towards full clearing i personally think in this meta it's all about you know farming getting your gold full clear full clear full clear and just play very you know around objectives here i'm going to solo raptors and start q model once and then q right after and important things to know when you're playing graves jungle is to understand how his autos work you always want to kind of prioritize the camp behind what's in front of you because your autos are like pellets they just go forward and are blocked by whatever is in front of you. So you kind of want to create space and, you know, make sure your pellets can kind of hit everything. So here, Teemo jungle is a bit of a rat champion. So I don't know what I want to do about that. Here, I always use the Q as a wall bank. You know, you just have to be comfortable with the angles of his Q. Hitting the wall in situations are going to be very important that you just kind of have to make the best of and just understand how his q interacts with the wall mechanics he is an auto attack reset you always want to use it right after auto attacking plus it also reloads your ammunition so it's going to be a big thing for you to kind of remember how to use it because when you're out of ammo your e will give you an extra you know ammo charge very good very important so here we see his zone camps team mode is you know going towards his top side in this situation i honestly want to choose him because I really don't like him. And 3 camp to 3 camp is definitely, you know, cheesable. I don't know if Timo's going to go for possibly kill here. But I think Yone should be off. Here, obviously, we can keep chasing. But I don't really want to. I just want to get my Dark Harvest. Good ward here, but I should be able to auto E trade here. Like we talked about, Teemo's a rat champion, so my goal is to kill the rat. Kill him where he stands. I see top is missing. Top lane will try to kill me. I don't want to die, so I'm going to leave the jungle. My job here is done. Graves, you know, we killed the rat. Mission accomplished. But the job's not finished, so we have to keep farming. And just play around our item buy and our gold spend. This game was obviously a weird game where just random fights happening. But Graves ganks aren't going to be that good. Graves ganks are good when the enemy team is very in. When the enemy laners are in bad positions. Like out of position like that swing. Really out of position. If we're able to get flanks on people as Graves. It's extremely, you know, just really good. I wonder if this buy. No, I don't have enough. So Dirk, very important sword, very nice. This buy is extremely good for us. So what we're going to do is straight go to bot side because bot side jungle hasn't been cleared yet. So if we don't clear a bot side jungle, the camps aren't going to be worth less on the next respawn. So we just want to make sure we clear it as soon as possible to get the next respawn and get the most out of our jungle camps. Also, we have more camps here that we can possibly farm. Right after a crazy play like that, we probably want to kind of, you know, play for ganks and stuff like that, but... You just have to be willing to let people die, right? Like, that's a hard thing to do. I know, I know. It's like, you want to be the savior of the game. You want to help people. But really, you have to let some people die. And that's okay, because you just can't be going to every situation, right? Like, kills... I'll be honest with you guys. Kills aren't that good. I mean, they're pretty good, right? But they're not that good to have too many early game. Because the bounty system is a bit of a joke. And it scales extremely hard towards kills so you don't want to be just stacking kills because kills aren't going to give you experience which honestly is really important and that doesn't really pay doesn't really change the bounty system so you just really want to make sure you're getting your farm and if there's an easy kill like this like maybe swain is really playing super aggressive or maybe yone you know, struggling a lot maybe i like swing in against the swain with no flash i don't hate this right like I'm sure i'm level five i have a window yone can go stack up his q or he can go for an e trade so now, pretty much, I'm waiting for Yone to initiate. So now this is actually quite good. We're going to start with W. And we're just going to flash on. 
He actually blinded me, so it's a made a grave sin. Q into the wall, wall bang. Call it. Call it. Call it where it stands. Wall bang, wall bang. Perfect angle. You know, just utilize whatever you can. Sometimes you might have to use it without the wall, but just try to angle it where the explosion radius and the back end of it hits. It's actually very forgiving. A lot of people are going to get hit by it without realizing it because the back end of the Q on graves, very forgiving. So here I could easily die to Riven, but I'm very greedy. So I'm going to smite this. And what I'm going to do is just start to maneuver myself towards this wall. So if Riven comes, we know what we're going to do. We're going to dash over the wall and say, Riven, you can have, you can have what you want here. I'm not for sale. I am not something for you to consume. I'm not an object. And here Riven is actually just playing for that. So it's really good for us. So hit here. E is a safe jump over the wall. We do that. And now what's important for us is to play for the da, 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 OP Ghostblade item. The most efficient early game buy. And very cost efficient build we're going to be doing. The Ghostblade buy is really huge. So what we're doing is just play off that. And really this game, this is like the mindset you should have is great. It's like I never really did anything that I thought was hard. I did everything that I think was easy. The mid play. Yoni is getting six. Swain is no flash. Immobile. Carry, who really is pretty dead the second you get on him. Very good. Very good for us. Now getting this ghost blade out of combat movement speed. Very broken. Easy for us to maneuver. But a huge thing is the second item. Collector spike with ghost blade. We're going to be critting so hard. And crit graves is really broken. The full build is usually, you know, you go into Lord Dom, Shilbo, IE, BT. That's your big build. Sometimes you can go Maul if you have a lot of AP on the enemy team. Boots, I like armor boots or MR boots, generally. This situation, I think bot's killable. I always like to do something first with a very strong buy, like a gank or something, before I kind of opt into farming the situation. I think, okay, maybe bot side can be killed. So I'm going to start with my smoke screen on the back line. I'm going to auto queue. Obviously, I'm going to KS there. I don't want this guy to get any kills. Not that I don't want him to get kills, but I don't want him to die, right? Let's just say I, I didn't want him to die, so I, I, I'll do that. So whoever hits that, Swain is mid. That's pretty much Teemo, right? Because that's the only one who's missing. So no Teemo's in this area. I was considering doing, you know, like a solo dragon, but we're not going to do that. Because Teemo's in the area, and Teemo's a rat who just, like, came out of nowhere at camouflage. And, you know, I'm just not, not about that. So here you have two situations. You say, okay, I want a base. Maybe I can get, like, armor boots. Which, honestly, not the best. I guess Teemo does auto a lot, but... I'm not exactly sure how I want to kind of, like, boot itemize yet. Guy doing dragon is illegal. That I don't think should be allowed. I'm not sure if Swain is coming. But Ocean Drake is hard to tank. Skedaddle! Skedaddle! No Demo passive. Don't kill me. He gone. Very good play for us. Obviously, staying on Ocean Drake. Terrible decision. We don't want to be getting auto by Ocean Drake. Slows us, does a lot of damage. I should have got out of there as soon as possible, but overall, you know, it worked out in our favor. This game, I think I'm going to go Merc Trez, and I'm going to go into, like, Double Sword. I could wait on my Merc Trez a bit, which is probably better, because I, I want to prioritize more damage in a situation like this. So I'm just going to go... <laughs> more down honestly it would have been fine if i had enough for tier one boots this does look a bit weird but i'm just going to prioritize the damage components as much as possible because i'm very ahead i don't necessarily need mercs yet boots honestly tier two boots are kind of garbage you want to kind of sit on one boot or upgrade it once you like finish your second core the faster you get to like your tier two build is just very important on this champion i just think you really want to prioritize you know like 
tier one boots you can sit on it for quite a while and i think it's perfectly fine here i use the wall bang angle here and always kind of kite between between autos without aura i am a bit worried my damage wouldn't be enough to kill so i have to like, think about that Rakan's leaving even though i wanted to play for this void guard but i'm okay with the, just dashing in I got my auto off, thank god. I'm sure Yoni can handle this. Yoni, where are you going, my man? Your spells are supposed to hit the enemy jumping. Thank goodness for kill. Thank goodness. Now I have a collector. In that situation, my wall being on Q, flash could be better. Mechanics on this champion, Q flash. W flash is considered one. You can buffer your Q with your E. It's something I'm going to show you later on. But yeah, Teemo Blind, I mean, I can't really do much about that. The Murktras will help reduce the duration of that. So I'm going to have that later on, which will be nice. But overall, for me to survive Burst, it's going to be the Shield Bow, most likely fourth item. That's going to help me a lot to survive whatever damage comes. But overall, your goal on Graves is to kind of like kill them before they kill you. Your counter, your biggest counter is going to be enemy range. That's why the Ghost Blade is really good. This way will help us get onto range champions by speeding us up in that burst window. So a big thing we're going to be doing is making sure we utilize our... I think that's a kill. In this shield though. I think we're going to be utilizing our ghost blade when we need it to get onto people. Personally, I think they die here. beautiful they lined up perfectly for uh, the wall bang now i do feel like i'm starting to get real slow usually i don't delay boots this much but i would be happy if i had tier one boots but we're just gonna buy our boots now where are we at least tier one boots okay from here you decide what you want to build because i don't really have honestly the best items i'm just gonna get the merc trust. Mostly because I think my DPS loss from blind would be really bad. And also, they have a lot of stuns. And my end goal here, Mortal Reminder is good in this game. But I honestly think this item is just bad. I think having 5% more armor pen is better. So I'm just going to go Lord Doms. I think heal cut's pretty bad. I'm not a fan of heal cut if you didn't know me. So now I'm more about kind of pushing out, playing aggressive. Looking for places for vision, enemy vision, enemy jungle camps. I think Riven might be rotating mid here, so I might look to catch her if she's here. If not, probably just do the Herald here. Mid is fighting though, so I'm gonna just come here. Ghost Blade in. Look for like a whale. Well, kind of like an angle. Riven's here, so I'm just gonna back out. She has no flash, so. You know how I know? Because she flashed on my booty earlier, so I wasn't gonna have that. Slurping around on me. So here I'm just gonna farm. You can easily heal up extremely quick by farming your jungle. Your jungle camps, after you kill it, heals you based off your missing health. So here you wanna just kinda clear out a bit and then just play for the dragon. I don't really care for Milo. My goal is actually just kind of play for Dragon. I'm going to go on them afterwards once I finish the Dragon. We did a lot of good work out there. Rakan, I salute you. Your sacrifice was... I respect it. I respect the hell out of it. So here you go into like Lord Doms. Maybe you want Mortal Reminder. Okay. After that, it's usually, you know, Shield Bow. Your last item is like very flexible. You could go for a Maul last item. You could go for, you know, IE to maximize your damage. You could go for 
BT for some life steal. Generally, the safe bet would be like BT for life steal. IE is like when you're really ahead if you can afford it. But it's just kind of up to you. Also, sweeper. I generally go sweeper at this point when Baron's about to come up. Hmm. Flash plus kill. Or utilization. My boy, Ash. Uh, I don't really care what they're doing. I'm just going to get the red. The red slow is crucial in graves. Maybe I'll go on Teemo afterwards, though. Chasing. I don't like chasing. I feel like on Graves, your chase is very... You gotta be... You want to come from angles. You don't want to just run straight at people. You want to be flanking in a way. Like, you want to be going at people who are in bad positions, right? So, just think about it like that. If you're, if you're running straight into their face, usually... That's not going to go the way you think it will go. If this Grom's up, I'm just going to steal it. I'm gonna pink here and look too. Oh, baby. Um. Should be able to one shot this tower before it kills me. I have a really good base timer now, so I'm just going to look the base here. Obviously get the weight. Thank you. Obviously get the base timer. Kill died, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Lord Dom, so here's the decision. What do I want? What do I want? Usually it's just shield bow plus a pink. We have Murtress to reduce our tenacity of whatever CC hits us, so... We just want to be able to DPS, like our auto attacks are going to be crucial for our DPS. We have to make sure we're able to kind of get that value here. I'm going to pink here. Drop a herald to see like what's going on on the other side. A lot of magic damage, a lot of magic damage. I gotta watch out for Jinx R, but I'm not the type to get hit by it. I'm ready to dodge as a second it pops his head out. She shoots at me. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here, obviously, that play, you know, I use Herald as like a vision tool. I know they're on that side, so I'm just going to use it. Plus, whatever Shelly does, it's up to her. She's an independent woman. She decides where to go after. And here, I just want to play for her. She cannot. Ribbon with E stacks, with E stacks on Graves. Ribbon cannot kill you. I'm extremely strong. Oh, come on. The burn. Why does it burn though? Actually crazy for trying to like style here. Don't know what she's messing with. My damage is like nothing that they've seen before. We have our Lord Darm, so. Even if they were starting to build armor here, they're way too far behind you. Have to kite this out. All the blinds, man. The blinds. Need the jacks, or sorry, the ash rotation a bit earlier there. Could go super giga chat and just go straight into like IE right now or BT. Yo name. Yo name. If you're feeling like a Giga Chat, you can go into IE. BT is also a good option. Honestly, I'm just going to sit on these items and decide later. I could also just straight up go into Shield Blow as well, still. Very rich. In that situation, I mean, blinds. I have to play around. I have to play around the blinds. I was hoping Rakan would be there sooner or maybe Ash rotates, but. You can never rely on your teammates, so remember that. 
17 kills, yet I'm the same level as Teemo. 17 kills, 20 CS up. Same level, by the way. Pretty much there, I just kind of used the RLT to push myself backwards, sort of like a, a catapult. R backwards in the direction. I thought my R would hit Swain, but he flashed in a second. But overall, beautiful by us. I mean, this is just definitely an IE game, right? When you're Giga Chad like this, you're, you, you got to do the IE, baby. You got to let her ride. Let her ride. I'm just dead. Oh, Penta. Oh, a Penta? Q, smite, one shot, base. Definitely an IE after that. We'll see what happens. Here, I mean, the sword will just save up for this component. I will buy a pot here because I'm capped out on items. And I think this Baron play, like, they're going to want to kill me. So this red pot is going to help a lot with surviving. Overall, really good game for us. Really easy fights afterwards. You know, just play around whoever is overextending, whoever is in a bad position. And just take advantage of that. And enemy team, like, enemy CC is very important for you to understand. Like, you have to... You have to be aware of enemy teams. Crowd control. And if you run in, dash in, get crowd controlled, you're going to get chain CC'd into death. The big thing about Gravesy, your range is short. You have to play around burst, the burst angle and knowing how to kind of like position well. The ghost play gives you that kind of jump scare sort of thing. Like here, I'm going to just be able to oh, obliterate them. Actually, that damage was so good. Wait for a dash angle here. Oh my god, I, I blinded while I had a kill R going on me. Damn, bro, you see me? My, my shotgun flipped the hell out of the team. One auto on that, that Milo, bro, shook him. I'm gonna go shield bow. I played that too deep though. I shouldn't have dashed into Swain there. I should have dashed into Timo. The blind did affect me there. I mean, this champ skill's insane, by the way. IE. If you get to the IE, I don't recommend buying IE earlier. Shiobo will help you a lot. But if you're a Giga Chad like me, yes. If you're doing really well and you can afford the buys. Like, if you can afford the BF sword, yeah, you should probably go for the BF. Your crit multiplier is really broken, so just remember to play around your autos. I don't think they win without me. They did get a kill, so that's good. Weird, that R is so hard to notice. Obliterated. Deleted. I didn't even know how low she was. I wasn't paying attention. I just wanted to let her ride, you know? Oh, she got away. The one, the one that got away. I'm at like 75% crit. Not bad. One auto on Jinx should do the trick. getting cc she's too quick she's too quick it was a good death it was a good death i need i need it i need to go home i need to base obviously you don't want to be going so crazy you just play for the wave towers if you have to run straight into them it's not going to work out that well as you can kind of see you know milo bouncy balls me range is you know jinx just outranges me so you have to play around like 
these sort of angles when you're playing Graves. Honestly, sometimes you just don't fight too when it's not good. But I'm just having a good time, so I'm just going to fight when I see enemy champions. I'm up in one. I'm closest to 16. The shield bow is going to help dramatically, though. But We'll see. Twenty-five kills, same level as Timo. Interesting. Oh, he's fourteen now. It's actually a good angle for us if somehow we can keep them entertained. Just gotta win. Goddamn shame. Damn, I actually thought we could one shot there. Near Recon not to go in and die like that. And wait a bit longer. Who do we got Nexus Tower? Not bad for her. The Zonia's blind. Ah damn shame. We do scale really well, so even though whatever is happening is not a big deal. We just have to play for this next Baron. Super awkward. I'm like a hundred short of this item. We do rely heavily on Shield Bow for survivability. Lifesteal, I mean, it could be good, but... Recon 1v 1v5. Now this doesn't look good. Ooh, I was like one second from killing her. I think Yone cleans up the swing is not that strong. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna go I'm gonna go VT this game. I think life steal is gonna be good for me. Seventy five percent crit should be good enough. Yone came in so hot, bro. I was like one, one millisecond away from killing Riven. And if Riven died there, oh, you know, try and put, kick in and I would, I would definitely have the rest. A little lock down. I'm gonna go red pot here. Pretty much full build. From now on, you just spend all your money on red pots. There are some angles where you pretty much go, you sell your boots for attack speed and you go like Zephyr, but personally think the, the Murtrez is actually very important for us this game. C, 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 C. A bunch of stuns, blinds. I really need it. Thousand damage. I wonder if they just fight us here. How do they play this? Oh, that beautiful angle. Wait a minute. We're just all dying. Maybe I should have flashed in there. I was hoping for kill R, but she just didn't R me. I would have flashed in if I had kill ult too. A losable? No. No. Not losable. Not yet. Jinx autoing me with Milo buffing her is a bit of a problem, so I have to deal with her fast. If Teemo isn't around to blind me, I could just flash on her and one-shot her, but it's a Teemo that's a problem for me. I think Dra Baron's gone, but I'll just run there anyways. We're going to go Dragon after her. Hitting these will speed you up, so not bad. 
maybe even clean up a fight after. I need Rakan to go with us. Alright, GG. As highly likely it is for us to lose a fight, it's more likely enemy team to lose a fight. Few flash here, auto, auto, and GG. Oh, but yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Play around your two item spikes, play around your ghost blade, just play around angles and flanks, and you're gonna do really well. See you guys in the next video. Good luck in the games and yeah, good luck in the climb.